Hey guys, it's Sam again, MobileTechVideos.com. Today I want to talk about something that uh, is very important to me, something I've wanted to make a video about for quite a while, and that is using your mobile device, whether it's a phone or a tablet, as an assistive tool for handicapped individuals. In particular, visually impaired individuals like myself. Uh, I have mentioned before that I am actually legally blind. Um, a lot of people don't realize the extent of it, and it's incorrectable. I can't wear glasses to fix my vision. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. So I have to use a lot of assistive technology in my everyday life. I use a CCTV to film these videos. CCTV stands for closed circuit television. And I'll show a quick video I made of my setup here. I also have to use a magnifier. This is my magnifier. It's pretty beat up because I have to use it. I use it every day. I use it with my phone. I use it to read anything. This is always, always, always in my pocket from the minute I wake up and get out of bed to the minute I lay down at night to go to sleep. If I don't have this, I leave the house with this, it literally feels like I've left one of my arms at the house. This is how important this thing, little device is. So because my vision is so bad, I rely on my phone for a lot of my assistance. So we're going to talk about several things today that maybe the average Android user doesn't realize their phones can do. So here we are looking through the video camera at the phone that is on the CCTV, which this we can see through there is the CCTV camera and it shows up on the monitor. This is, if you can see my hand, the video coming from this camera. Here's the controller. I can zoom in as close as I need to and zoom out. Now I mentioned CCTV and in the video you'll see that I have a large one that hooks up to my computer monitor and I can enlarge anything that I put underneath the camera. But there's something called portable CCTVs also and they are just that small versions of this large CCTV that I use and they're usually about the size of cell phones uh, maybe a little thicker but they are designed to be carried around and used out in the world in everyday life and they are very expensive oh super expensive so a great alternative is your Android based phone there are several apps that you can use. One of them is this one here. It's called Best Magnifier. There's another one here called Magnifier, just Magnifier. And I, I did a little quick little video demoing these. This application is called Best Magnifier. It does magnify. You can see the frame rate is very slow. Look at this. But uh, you can turn on the light to illuminate, uh, which in this case is way too bright. You can zoom in. And you get a little clicking noise when it zooms in. If you zoom in all the way, it takes a picture, which then can be manipulated and zoomed around which is great for getting up real close if you have a hard time seeing getting up real close to read the fine print uh, for example on prescription bottles the only problem is you can you can manually zoom in and out here as well pushing the buttons 
but to get back to the application to look at something else you have to completely exit the application and re-enter which is kind of redundant uh, it's kind of a pain and this one is just called magnifier and frame rate much better on this one you can see moving around uh, out of focus to focus you just click this button here and it focuses this one does not have a zoom in and zoom out feature until you take the actual picture but it is automatically zoomed in magnified somewhat so this also has a light button and uh, everything just seems to work better on this one than the previous one this also has a picture and it automatically goes into your gallery of choice and there you can do the zoom and pan around and look at previous ones to get back just click the back button and you're already back here you can also hit the menu and go to the gallery that way and go to whichever one you want to look at your pictures they're a little clunky and they have their drawbacks but in a pinch you're out you're at a restaurant you've forgotten your magnifier you need to read the menu um, you're at a grocery store and you can't read the label these work really well now another feature that I put on my phone is right here it's called font manager now as the picture shows there you can use this to enlarge your font and like I have it set all the way to the max you can also choose different font that might be easier for you to read they have some that's larger than the normal font that comes default on your device but to be able to enlarge the system font on your device is great I have mine set to the max and you see in my menus and in my settings here my font is huge which for me is awesome I love that everything nowadays is is going towards being super small and compact and for someone with a vision impairment like me that's horrible so to be able to come in here and customize the size of your font is great there's several different apps that will do that uh, there's one called big font that works really well and these are all free apps too I should mention